Hi there, my name is David Harris. I've been an interior, exterior, commercial, and residential painter for the last 11 years. And today we're gonna to discuss how to make red by blending paint colors. The simple answer is that you can't make red by blending paint colors. Red's a primary color along with yellow and blue. And what primary color means is that um, you can't blend any two colors to make that color. Uh, those are called secondary colors. So the obvious next question is, how then does a paint supplier make red paint? Uh, how that happens is they take a white base coat, like they do for all paints, and they add a red pigment to it. Now, a uh, long time ago, it used to be that pigments were only found in nature. You would have to go to a mineral or a plant to find a, a red pigment to add to paint to paint red. Um, nowadays, um, especially in latex paint, all pigments are uh, artificial. In fact, the only place I think they still use natural pigments is in fine art oil painting. Now, just because you can't use two paint colors to make red doesn't mean that you can't uh, blend new paints to uh, make new red colors. You're gonna look at, if you're gonna look at a color wheel, you're gonna find that red falls between yellow and blue. And the uh, reds that favor the yellow side are gonna look a little more orangey, or uh, maybe even a little brown and the reds that fall towards the blue side are going to look more like a purple. And um, you can have a lot of fun with staying inside the red family by uh, working around this concept. So what we have here are four different paint colors to represent the spectrum of red. On this side we've got kind of an orangey red or a brick red and on this side we have kind of a, uh, a purpley red. Also we've got kind of a, a bright yellow and a dark blue. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of this this uh, purple red and a little bit of this orangey red. I'm going to add it to a cup and we're going to take a little bit of this blue. I'm going to add it in there. If we can get it out that is. And then we're going to take a little bit of this yellow and we're going to add it to the orangey red. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to use a little foam brush to kind of mix it up and get a new color. And the trick to mixing paint like this to make sure that you don't see any uh, <clears throat> any streaks of either of the original colors. So the tip to mixing paint like this is that you don't want to see any streaks of the original colors on the inside because once you apply it to a wall you're going to have a much harder time blending the two colors together. So now that we have four different paint colors, why don't we put them on the wall and uh, see what we've got. So what you see on the wall right now is a color spectrum going from orange to purple. Now on the far side of the orange would be that bright yellow that I mixed into paint, and on the far side of the purple would be that dark blue. And if we continued this process, we would eventually end up with a complete circle leading from one end to the other. So. There you can see four colors out of two paints. So my name is Dave Harris. I'd like to thank you for joining me today and allowing me to share some of my expertise with you. And that is the basics of how you blend paint colors to make different kinds of red.